expressions from the Bible so well? I mean, how many times have you read it? Uh, I, Or did you learn it by heart? No, I, I didn't. I read some of it and then I practiced it and it became memorized. So did you read the whole Bible and then um, memorize no, no, no. some parts? No. So you didn't read the whole Bible? I didn't re well, I read the Bible, not mm -hmm. all of it, I would say, but most of it. Okay, and then yes. you memorized some parts that you found most important? Yes, because okay. there are many many mm -hmm. parts in the Bible which point mm -hmm. to me very clearly as a Muslim mm -hmm. that Jesus is not claiming to be God, it's the other way around. He's claiming that he has a God, very clearly. There are verses which are very explicit. For example, John 20, 17, he says, I go to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Mm -hmm. A very clear, explicit verses. Unfortunately, I've come across many Christians who would leave aside the explicit verses Yeah. And they would rather go yeah. for the implicit think, ones. Why? Why would you do that? No, it's not a human. A human being who is logical, who is sincere, will yeah. look at the explicit verses. But I don't think that God But is logic. But would you say that human... Well, well, what do you mean lo logic? God is logic? Are you saying understanding God is not logical? No, it's not. So why would God tell you to love him with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind? Why would you want you want you to believe him with all, his, with all your mind? No. If, if, if understanding him is not logical. I don't have to understand him. No, no, I don't mean to understand him fully, yeah. but in, in, in terms of what he has already told us. For yeah. example, God tells us that he's all-knowing. Do you believe he's all-knowing? Yes, I do. Do you believe Jesus is all-knowing? Yes. Really? Did he know the last hour? Hmm? Did he know the last no, hour? No, he doesn't. There you go. So he's not all-knowing. No, see, that's the, th the difference between you and me. Because you think that um, I have to... Everything that was said and said by Jesus especially, because he's the most important figure of Christianity. Yeah. There's, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But I don't have to understand everything he said. Why? Why would you not want to understand what Because Jesus said? I says? believe. I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what. You know what? Earlier you said that you don't you don't agree with my interpretation. Yeah. Okay. I want you to interpret this for me. When Jesus says I go to my God and your God, what yeah. do you understand? Do you believe Jesus has a God? Mm, no. No? So what does he mean? Was he telling lies when he says, I go to my I, God? If, yeah, I remember the passage correctly. He said that he would go to the Father. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, but not his God. No, he said my God in the same statement. Read it. John 20, 17. He says, I go to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Yeah. This is again, you see, you're, you're basically expressing surprise in passages which are very clear. John, what? John chapter 20, verse 17. 20 what? 20, 17, 17. So 20, 17. Yeah, 20, 17. Yes, he says, I want you to interpret for me, based on that verse, what does he mean when he says, I go to my God and your God? No, he doesn't say to his God, but to his He haven't even read it yet. I did. He doesn't say my God there, in your no, version? He says, because I haven't returned to my Father in the heaven. Yes, read the next bit now. <laughs> go back to my brothers and say them, I'm going to my Father and your Father and my God and your God. Thank you very much. So he did say that, right? Now you interpret it for me now. What does it mean when he says my God? I have to look at the context. Of course, look at the context with all due means. See, the thing is, um, I think that Jesus can talk about him like his father and his God. and his Okay, that's the, okay let me ask you this. At the same time, because he's, at, he's um, God and man at the same time. Okay, let me ask you this. Does the father have a God? He is God. No, that wasn't my question. Does the Father have a God? Yeah, that was my answer. He is God. Okay, if I asked you, is the Father God, that would be your answer. But now I'm asking you, does the Father have a God? Ask me the same question. Does the Father have No. Yeah, that's what you think. Now the next question. Does the Holy Spirit have a God? That's contradictory. No, it's not. In my book it is. In your book it says, That the Holy Spirit takes commands from the Father, yeah, from God. That's totally okay. That's really? Fine. Can yeah. God be commanded by anyone? That's fine. Can God be commanded by anyone? Who commands God? Does that, okay, let me rephrase there's that. No commandment God let me rephrase that question. No There is actually. That's yeah. the bit you're missing. There is clearly a rank. I don't think so. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you believe God is the ultimate authority? In respect. In authority. You know what authority means? Yes. I yes. Think so. Is God the ultimate authority? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Let record, no problem. Do you believe there's authority higher than God? No. No. That is what the ultimate authority means. He is the highest authority. And there's no authority higher than Him. Okay, now, next question. Is there an authority higher than Jesus Christ? Um, I don't know. There is. Yeah, that's... <laughs> 1 Corinthians 
First Corinthians chapter yeah. 11 verse 3. It says, Jesus is saying, sorry, yeah, well, according to Paul, this is what he says. He says, um, the head of all men is Christ. The head of the woman is man, obviously in a marriage. Mm -hmm. And it says the head of Jesus Christ is God. You know what the head means? Yes? yes. Like Merkel is the head of Germany. Is that right? Is she still? Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Still is, well, I don't know. She's, uh, so, yeah, so basically head means someone who is in charge. In basically the boss. Yeah. Yes? The president, whatever you want to call it. So if someone is, you already agreed that there's nobody higher in authority than God. Mm -hmm. But since there is someone higher in authority to Jesus Christ, then he cannot be God mm -hmm. by that logic. That's the essential part where I disagree. Which part do you disagree? The because Bible? Because that's from no, the Bible. No, no, no. This argumentation. That is the from the Bible. Sorry, yeah, yeah, the Bible says the head of Christ yeah, is God. No, do you disagree with that? No, no, but I disagree with you because... Which I part do you disagree? What you said. I said the head of Christ is God. And that is the verse from the Bible. So if you're disagreeing yes. with me, you're disagreeing yes. with the Bible. No, no. Do you realize that? No, no. You said that it was illogical. How? <laughs> Quoting the Bible verbatim is illogical. How? How is Paul wrong? Hmm? How is Paul wrong? Yeah. The one who said? No, he's not wrong. By the way, you know when Paul wrote this? Um, After the ascension. So he's no more human body, yeah. but at least not the earthly body. Yeah. Yes? He's now ascended to the Father. Yeah. Yes? And now he is supposed to be with the Father, right? But even after that, Paul says, who is the head? Who is the head of Christ? He didn't say the Father. He said, God, the head of Christ is God. Yeah, that's okay. How is it okay? If Jesus is God, how many gods do you believe that's in? That's the point. That's exactly what I'm always trying to, to tell you. About. Okay, what is the point I'm missing? Go on, tell me. I don't see a... a there's no problem with God being the... Uh, God and the Father. Can God have a God? No, but there's no, uh, yes, you can. Because can God have a God? Seriously, how many gods do you believe in, by the way? <sighs> no, honestly, think about it before you answer. How many gods do you believe in? No, I'm not asking. I'm uh, answering that because I'm, I'm still not done with the. Okay, fair enough. Go on. Um, Jesus is talking about his. <laughs> Paul is talking about um, Jesus having a God, right? Yes. I think that's okay. But even, do you agree with that? Even if Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are the same. They are not the same because one is the God of the other. Yeah, but that's okay. Why is that it okay? Possible. Okay, I'll ask you again. How many gods do you believe in? I won't answer to that. 